This is Star Vartan of EcoChick.com. I'm the editor and founder of EcoChick, which I've been running for about 10 years now. I just came back from a great run. I'm here in uh, Wren, Oregon, where I'm spending the summer in the foothills of the Coast Range Mountains. And I took a shower and I was putting on my deodorant and I realized I haven't talked to you guys about my favorite deodorants and why they work and what I don't love about them. So I have a selection here and I'm going to fill you in on what I've learned over the last 10 years of trying out and testing different types of natural deodorants. So I'm going to start with the basics, lavender oil. Lavender oil, this one's from Oracasia, which is a brand that I love and trust. Um, their purity is always excellent for all essential oils. Uh, and again, if you are gonna use an essential oil on your skin, you wanna make sure it's a pure essential oil. Even though it's a pure essential oil, it still could cause some irritation. Uh, plenty of people online have reported that lavender will irritate their underarms if used directly as a deodorant. Um, so keep that in mind with this recommendation. I've not had that problem. Um, in a pinch, I oftentimes, especially when I travel, I always carry lavender um, to keep me relaxed on the plane, but it also doubles as a deodorant if you've forgotten to bring yours. So um, if you do have sensitive skin, but it's not super sensitive, you could try also mixing lavender with a little bit of any type of oil, um, like an olive oil or a coconut oil. Um, but the it is a natural mi antimicrobial and it smells wonderful, so the combination of those two things means that it makes for a really great deodorant um, and just a wonderful way to sort of smell yourself up simply if you didn't bring um, perfume or you're not using that. So on to the official deodorants. Um, my first recommendation is for Schmitz. You can see here, um, this is the cedarwood juniper flavor, um, or scent rather. <laughs> You're not supposed to eat it. You probably could. Um, Schmitz is some pretty natural stuff. You can see it comes in sort of a hard, um, solid uh, mass in here. It's kind of like, uh, you know, the coconut oil. So if it gets warmer, it will melt a little bit. Um, but mostly it's kind of tough. And um, you kind of have to stick your finger in there. And then you kind of rub it between your fingers. And then you actually apply that directly on your underarms. And some people may not be comfortable with this right away. I know the first time I actually applied under um, arm deodorant directly onto my pits, I thought it was a little weird. Um, the advantage is that you're going to end up um, giving yourself a little underarm massage, but also really um, rubbing the contents of the deodorant into your skin. Um, these are all natural ingredients, and um, like I mentioned, this is a cedar with juniper flavor. It sort of has like a delicious woodsy smell, um, but they have a bunch of other flavors too, in, including um, bergamot lime, which is my other favorite of theirs. And it has, um, you can feel, it, it's a little granular, you can feel the baking soda and other combination of oils that really does block smell. Um, I think this probably works the best of any natural deodorant I've used, and I think part of the reason is you're really rubbing it into your skin, um, you're really getting it in there. Uh, and I really love the scent as well. Um, all their scents are really lovely, not too strong. So if you're looking for something that really works, this is definitely the way to go. Um, if you're looking for, if you're not really comfortable rubbing your armpits, which, I mean, it's your own armpit, so it's really not that big a deal, um, you may not be into it. I also really like that you can reuse these little containers too. They're really useful. Um, my next favorite is Tom's. So I um, had actually used Tom's deodorant probably about five years ago and I was not a huge fan. And so um, they have reformulated. Um, they do have, you know, it comes in like your regular deodorant thing. It looks like any deodorant you grew up using. Um, and I'll read you the ingredients. Um, propylene glycol, water, sodium stearate, organic aloe, uh, leaf juice, zinc. Glycerol Laurate uh, Natural Fragrance, which they specify. If anything, a body product says fragrance and doesn't specify what the fragrance is made of, that it could be anything, including um, toxic phthalates, which you really want to stay away from. So as long as it says natural fragrance and then it specifies what those fragrance that fragrance is made from, you're good in terms of natural stuff. My kitty, uh, Josephine, may wander through this film um, in case you see strange animals behind me. Um, 
the and then so the rest of the ingredients here is just um, organic sunflower seed oil and um, a couple other oils. It goes on really smooth. It smells great. This is the lavender, um, and it does work. Uh, whatever reformulation Tom's did, it is now totally effective. Um, I've worn this for full days. It says 24-hour odor protection on here, and it works. Um, and I'll also mention there's the um, dark blue, long-lasting. Um, I think these both say long-lasting. This one's sort of like the man's, and this is the women's. I mean, this one smells really good still, even if it's the man's. Um, this is the deep forest flavor or scent, um, and I really like it. My partner uses this one, although occasionally I steal it because I like the deep forest smell. Um, and they ha has slightly different ingredients on the back, so I'm, again, not sure, but they're both aluminum free. This is for men, um, but you know, obviously ladies can use it. You're not going to grow chest hair, as my grandpa always used to say, if you use men's products. <laughs> um, next up, I really love um, this deodorant from Fig and Yarrow. Um, this is like a super, super, super natural thing. So if you're going completely, completely chemical free, um, this is a good one. And um, you actually pump a little bit out onto your fingers and it's sort of like the fig and yarrow thing where you actually have to um, pump it out. It's like a little, it's like a, it's almost like a lotion liquid. And again, you're gonna have to put it right on yourself. But again, I'll say, I think this makes those kinds of deodorants really effective because you're really rubbing it in there. Um, but again, you're gonna get it on your fingers. So, um, I love the ingredients here. Um, the first one is aloe uh, gel, which is of course gonna be nice and soothing. So if you've just shaved your armpits, that's always nice. Um, witch hazel, lilac, sage extract, coconut oil, um, sodium bicarb, which is baking soda. This does have alcohol in it, so I know some people are very into being alcohol free with all their beauty products. This does have a little, you know, in deodorants it helps um, for the deodorant to evaporate very quickly um, so you don't have damp underarms. So a lot of these do contain alcohol, um, but you know, in fairly small amounts. Um, soy lactithin, and then this has a bunch of um, fur needle, uh, possum on cab, oh, patchouli, uh, lavender, benchmark thyme, all organic, uh, clary sage, um, for, for scent and it smells like you're hanging out in a pine forest that also has like lovely flowers in it. Um, so that is again the Fig and Yarrow and they have um, a bunch of lovely products and it comes in this nice glass uh, container which again you can reuse for other products which I always love. Reusable containers. Next up is one of my very very favorites, um, Dr. Hauschka. Uh, you may know them as the sort of fancy schmancy brand in your health food store um, and they've you know expanded over the years and I love all their products are, are great and I've been using quite a few of them for years. I hadn't used their deodorant until recently and it's it's nice again it comes in your really traditional you know nice glass bottle roll-on so you know if you're used to using a roll-on and you kind of want to stick with that um, this is a nice it's an easy transition you don't have to do everything new and different. Um, this is the rose scent, and it's so beautiful. I mean, something that I've noticed with all of Dr. Hauschka's products is they just, they nail the scents every time. They Everything they make just smells amazing. Um, so the ingredients here include, uh, or start with water, jojoba seed oil, alcohol, again, so this is not an alcohol-free one, tapioca starch, which is gonna be um, a little bit of an absorbent, glycerin, zinc, um, castor seed oil, uh, glycerol caprolate, um, rosa damascena flower oil, which is for the fragrance, and it includes, includes citronella and eugenol and limonene and uh, cetyl alcohol in the fragrance mixture. So again, this includes fragrance, but it breaks down exactly what's in the fragrance. So, you know, if you have any sensitivities um, or you want to know exactly where the fragrance is coming from, it is uh, demarcated on here. So again, love them. This one is, uh, I'll include the prices below the video because this one's a little bit more expensive, but it also lasts forever. So there's always that consideration. Okay, on to my last one, which is Walita. Um, this is a spray. Uh, again, it comes in a nice uh, glass bottle so you can reuse it. I actually 
make um, potpourri mixes or essential oil mixes and then leave them in various places around the house after I finish with these bottles so I can um, deodorize the air. Um, so they these comes in a couple different uh, scents. I have the wild rose here. This is what I travel with. You can see I really love rose. Um, and then this is the sage, which my partner uses, but I also use. <laughs> Um, because I always try out all his products as well. Um, I can't get enough. He, um, you can see he's almost done with this. Uh, he goes through this pretty quick because he uses it for underarms, but he also like kind of just sprays it on his chest hair and stuff. So um, it's, it's really nice to have the spray if you want to use your deodorant in that way. Um, in fact, I use the um, rose one um, as a deodorant sometimes under my arm, but I more use it as like a general body spray. I really like it after I've been um, out, you know, walking outside for, you know, I'll take a break, I'll take a walk outside in the middle of the day, not necessarily want to take a shower yet, I'll spray this on, or I'll sometimes even spray it on my hair if I feel like my hair's gotten a little smelly from being in, you know, like a restaurant or something like that. So again, um, this is made in Switzerland. Um, I love Walita if you're not familiar with um, their beauty products, they're excellent. Um, so their ingredients include alcohol. Uh, water, fragrance, um, which again they break down into what all their different fragrances. It's um, also a Rosa Damascena extract, a Rosa Moscata leaf extract, glycerin, limonene, citronellol, um, eugenol, geranol, varnistol, etc. Walita always, um, in fact all of these brands will give you all the full ingredients on all of their products, which I think is just, should be the norm. Um, it's really kind of annoying when you see a product and they say that there's fragrance or they say that there's a certain type of ingredient, but then they don't, um, or they say flower water, um, which is one that's used commonly, but they don't break it down any further than that. Uh, to me, I mean, even if they aren't hiding something, it suggests that maybe they're hiding something and I don't know why you do that. So I think more and more now, uh, most companies are listing their um, ingredients, but I think it's really important and all these companies do that. So those are my favorite deodorants. Right now I'm using them all, <laughs> depending on my mood. Um, I also travel, so I usually um, have a couple of these in my travel bag as well. But I figured I would make good use of them and share with you uh, exactly how they work. If you have questions, definitely ask um, below the video or you can find me on ecochick.com. That's E C O dash C H I C K dot com. I'm the editor and founder over there, and we are on Twitter and Facebook as well, so I'll include that information below. Have a great day and keep smelling good. Take care. Bye.